Hello guys, I hope y'all having an awesome, awesome day. I'm having a really good day. So, what I am creating, I am going to make different paper hats, okay? So I got my paper from the dollar store, okay? And my paper from the dollar store. So I cut them in these unique shapes. So, y'all see this? How this one is? So... A lot of y'all might be lost when y'all see me making this type of stuff because um, I'm like, what the heck is she making? You have to be into these unique hats and stuff. So I be on Pinterest and I um, look at a lot of these different hats and stuff and they actually make it out of felt. So I'm just trying to be creative. I took some boning, kind of cut it like a leaf and this one will go sort of like this. And then the headband will go on and it'll attach it. But then I have to find some pretty fabric and different things like that. Either this way, that way. Um, so I got to find really some fabric and do all that different stuff with the fabric. With this one, I just kind of cut the shape, got the headband. Haven't figured out what fabric I'm going to use yet. And we're just going to move on. That one just something I cut. So this one is the one we're going to use. I cut a huge circle so I cut a huge circle so when I cut this huge circle so you see I better to make this hat flex kind of like that okay huge circle make it flex um, I put boning on so you see I sewn a piece of boning across so depending on the way you want it to flex okay so you want it to go the opposite way so you put your boning on However, you decide to make it flex. So that's what you'll do. You'll put your boning on. So I want it to curve this way, the boning that way. If I want it to go the opposite, I put the boning on. And so you'll make it flex to the way you want it so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to secure fabric so y'all see i got this fabric give it to me baby so i'm going to secure this fabric to this okay so what you do you take that fabric you see that i'm putting it on and I'm going to wind up sewing this to, and we're going to do front and back, okay? So I'm just pinning it on around, and I got to do the front side, and I got to do the back side. And how we're going to wind up making this hat work, we're going to take elastic and put it in the middle. So yes, I'm into these unique, different type hats. So if you're into fashion like I am, and you desire to be a fashion designer, what you're going to realize in fashion, it's going to be a lot of weird stuff. So I notice in fashion, you'll see stuff like, wow, so you got to think outside of the box. You got to be bold. You got to create your stuff. You got to be bold. And you can't be like, oh, you know, worrying about because Everybody not going to get it. So if you look at a lot of these runways and these big fashion shows and what goes on behind the scenes, when you look at some of that stuff, you'll be like, what the hell? Yes, that's, supposed to be, that's what goes on in these fashion things. You know, they wear a lot of sheer and just everything. So it's like, uh, yeah, the fashion world is something else, okay? It's definitely a bold place. So when I decided... That I wanted to be in fashion, I felt like, you know what, this would be awesome for me because I don't mind about TD tartaring on something different. I don't mind about it. So I'm bold enough to try it. So that's what you got to do. You got to dare to be bold. So the paper came from the dollar store. Just cut your big circles. Get your boning, and if y'all see Beyonce wear a lot of these different type of hats and stuff like that. So, um, I'm into the hats, but I want to be into all kind of hats, you know. Um, the my paper scissors. 
So that's what I'm doing. So that's what I'm creating. That's what I'm doing. I'm making all kind of little different stuff. So I just wanted to show y'all kind of how the idea starts. And then where you wind up. Okay. So it starts out a little something like this. And then it go on and on. Okay. So y'all see I have this secured to the paper. I'm going to go sew it on a sewing machine. Secure this side down. And then I got to come back and I got to do the same thing. Flip it, sandwich it, okay? Sandwich it like a, a Oreo cookie, okay? Cream in the middle. So... Okay, so y'all see that? I'm finna go take it, sew it on a sewing machine. And then I'm gonna come back and then I'm gonna do it again, okay? I'm gonna do it again. I gotta do this side. Now, if you didn't want both sides leopard, you could just do one side, but I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna do both sides, okay? I'm gonna do one side, sew it, and then I'm gonna come back and do another side. So I'll be back, alrighty. Okay, so this side, it's sewed, okay? Now I came back and sandwiched another side, okay? So now I got this side. So I'm gonna go in there and sew that down on a sewing machine, okay? And then we'll be back with the next step. Alrighty. Okay, so after that's done, I have bias tape right here, okay? So now that I have sewn down both sides, front, and back okay so now what I'm going to do I am going to take this bias tape and put it all around the head okay and we're going to sew this around so we're just going to take this and take it around and we're going to secure it down and then a final step would be we pick which side we want to um, we pick which side we want to be our main side and which side we want to be the inner side okay these clips i get off of amazon uh put in sewing clips and you will come up with these okay but yeah i saw beyonce with a pretty leopard print head on but hers was different from this hers had like a hat itself on and then she had the top piece so i'm just doing the flat paper hat but I'm truly uh, into the hat thing. So that's, that's, y'all got me. I'm in that mode. So when I get in a mode, I get in a mode. I like to create. So we have to, to do my own hats, perfect them better. And, you know, like if this wasn't a sheer fabric, if this fabric wasn't sheer, I would have put interfacing on it, but I didn't iron the interfacer on because the interfacing is white and that white will come through. So if you're making this and if you're using a fabric that's not sheer to make it even more doable, I would say iron interfacing onto it. But due to the fact that this is a sheer leopard print, I didn't want to do that. So that's why I didn't do it. So I'm going to keep putting this on. And then I'm going to sew it on with a sewing machine. And then I'll come back and we'll be doing the final piece where we put the elastic on there. So let me go ahead and get this done. So I'm putting the bias piece all around. I got my bias tape from Amazon. And if you don't have bias tape, you know, you can cut your fabric. You have the, um, let me get my thoughts together. Your lengthwise grain your crosswise grain okay so to get the bias piece you cut it on the crosswise grain and you'll get your wind up getting your bias piece so the bias piece is even if you take a fabric that's not scratchy if you cut it on the bias that that fabric will have the ability to expand so just letting y'all know that okay so let me go ahead 
and finish doing this and I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so now after you got it sewn, y'all see the head is sewn, you got to decide which side you want. Do you want this side to be? Have you noticed it's two different types of leopard print? I thought they was the same fabric, but I realized they're not. So I got to figure out which way I want it. If I want this to be my base or if I want this side to be my base. Okay. So I think I want this to be the outer side, this to be the inner side. So you take a piece of elastic and you put it around your head. Okay. So you see, I got the elastic around my head where it's not too tight. All right. So I'm going to find the center of this. Ouch. And I'm going to pin it. And wind up pinning it down. Okay, so I got it pinned down. So I'm going to go in there and I'm going to, I got to sew this down. Okay, so I'm going to go sew this down and I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, the head is complete. So you could flex it different little ways on how you want it to be and, you know, make it stand up right and just, you know, just do little different things with it. And actually, I'm going to make the elastic a little bit more tighter because I feel like I got the elastic like really loose. So if you see, it's kind of because that's because the elastic is pretty loose. So I'm going to tighten that, tighten the elastic up a little bit more on here so that it don't do a lot of that. So I'm going to take a little bit more and secure it down more so it won't have so it won't be kind of doing that. OK, so. When you secure, you don't want it to kind of do that. You kind of want it to be stable. You don't want it to kind of be like it's something on your head, unstable. And it's unstable because I didn't make it tight enough. So I'm going to make it tighter. And at a later date, I'm going to come back. I will, I will come back and revisit this and I will put this on with some clothes like I wear the dress and all that type of stuff like kind of style it together so what I'm gonna wind up doing to make it kind of stop doing a lot of flopping so I added the elastic on there right so you notice on the on like that I'm gonna take a piece of bias tape and put it across here to kind of secure that better so it can secure more of the hat so that it's not doing a lot of that rotating so this is how you would make those paper hats and yeah so i really enjoy making different stuff so i'm going to secure it down more and then at a later date so it's two different sides but i like the vibrant side more for this side i'm going to um try it on for you guys at a later date when i put on clothes and stuff and something leopard print all right thanks for watching toodles